right, you guys. So I'm saying at Target what I had to pick up. I'm recording this just in case. So if it's positive, I can share it with you guys. And if it's negative, I can still share it with you guys just to keep y'all as a part of my life. I've already exp expressed to Brian that I'm having symptoms that make me feel pregnant or remind me of pregnancy. He's been craving stuff. The crazy thing is I have the Mirena and the doctor was like, this is the closest you get to tying your tubes without actually tying your tubes through birth control. So I was like, okay, great. Give it to me. So if I am, this is truly a miracle from God because... I'm nervous, y'all, but yeah, I'm about to. Head and take it out. Oh, I just finished my Alright, you guys, here goes nothing. We shall see. Whew. It's negative, boo. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. So, Karina and I, I worked last night and we were just, I was like, you know what? I said something about Costco and she's like, we should go to Costco. I was like, ooh, we should because they have this cute comforter and it's only 20 bucks. I was like, and we need a new bed set. And so, <laughs> I'm going to show y'all what I went for. Oh, and I went to stock up just some household things and some groceries but yes this is what i went for this king size down alternative blanket was only 20 bucks and brian was like we need something better for winter well i bought this and i bought sheets and i bought new pillows because i was like man we need new pillows because this comes with four <laughs> with four pillowcases. We only have two. This comes with four. We need more pillows. And she was like, no, you don't. And I was like, yeah. So those were only $12.99. These sheets were $19.99. And you're like, these are not bad prices for king size stuff because that's why it's taking me so long to buy a new comforter set and stuff because it's always like $80 plus dollars. So yeah, for a comforter and sheets, I only ended up paying 40 bucks, which is not bad. So go to Costco, check out their bed stuff, because I believe if, like, if you have a queen size bed, um, the sheets are $16 or $17.99, and the comforter is $19.99. So the comforter was $21.99 for me, but for a queen, I believe it was like $19.99, $18.99. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and start fixing the bed. You guys can watch.
All right, you guys, I'm so excited. I love how this one covers most of the box spring because like that was something that really, really bothered me, you guys, is like that the box spring wouldn't be covered. It's a little bit crooked, but look how nice it is. Oh, I love it. Put Brian's little funky pillow right there so he ain't gotta be seen. Oh, you guys, I love it. I don't think you guys understand. Like when Brian and I first got married, like we were broke. Like we haven't bought, <laughs> I haven't, here's, I don't know when the last time was, Brian was able to afford a new comforter set, but I haven't bought one since Ethan was born. So this is a, I love little like advancements, like as simple as buying a new comforter set and being able to do it affordably because like I said, we were really, really broke whenever we first got married. And even still now, we still struggle sometimes. So for me to be able to work and do Uber Eats and make an extra 52 bucks, like it was nice to be able to do that for us, you know, because we paid about 60 bucks for everything. So that was with the pillows included. So that was fitted sheet, flat sheet, comforter, two new pillows, four pillowcases for 60 bucks. And I was a king size. So I didn't buy king size pillows because I kind of like the way you can still see the um, headboard. I feel like it ties everything together. So yeah, I think it's so cute. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm going to wash that, put it in those bags, and then just save it just because, yeah. So yeah. I love it, you guys. I'm so happy that I got to buy that. <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so guess what? So I didn't end up vlogging much yesterday because it snowed yesterday, y'all. It started snowing yesterday. And I'll I got it. So all October, you guys know, like it's been it's been very dry here in Lubbock, which is like West Texas, which is classified as a desert, like desert climate. Anyways, but it's not like extreme desert climates like Phoenix, Arizona, or anything. Like we still get some rain and some moisture, but it is hot and it is dry and it is windy. So all of October, Ethan kept I kept telling Ethan like you know like let's pray for rain because I. Y'all, every time I ask this little boy to pray with me, like, it always happens. And so I'm like, okay, like, it's either our faith together or this boy just has extraordinary faith. And so every time I would tell Ethan, like, hey, baby, let, let's pray for rain. Like, our land needs to be healed. Let's pray that God heal, let's pray, let's pray that God heals our land and brings us rain. He's like, um, no thanks. I want to pray for snow. And I'm like, Ethan, it's October. It's not going to snow in October. Maybe the end of November, or December, we can pray for snow. But right now we need to pray for rain. Well, I'm going to pray for snow, mom, and you pray for rain. And I'm like, fine, great, let's pray. <laughs> Y'all, I need to quit doubting that boy's face because it is snowing in October. Don't underestimate your kid's faith and let them pray for whatever they want to pray for. As long as it lines up with the will of God. Because, boy, Ethan had faith that it was going to snow in October and it's snowing and it's cold y'all <laughs> but anyways today is tuesday so can anybody tell me what day it is before i show y'all what day is it boom laundry day getting the last load out of the dryer right now and then i'm gonna heat me up some food i just finished editing today's video um y'all you guys will still be getting your four videos a week but don't expect them at 11 a.m every week because some weeks they won't be up at 11 a.m. and that's why on my page it just says hey. for new videos a week. Hi guys! <laughs> Anyways, y'all missed the cutest thing this morning. This morning they built, I built them a, well we built a fort together in their room and they were playing in it for a while but they started fighting, started messing it up. I got tired of fixing it so I was like, you know what? Take the blankets down. No more fort. So yeah, I'm about to get this laundry out and 
then heat me up some food, start uploading today's video and start editing start editing Friday's vlog because I actually need to film tomorrow's video and a couple of Jesus chats. So while I eat, Mommy. I might actually do a Bible study or do some a couple of Bible studies for my channel. So hey. yeah. Hi Mama. Hi. Hey. Y'all go play in y'all's room. So, but yeah, let's get this laundry done. And then I gotta film at some point today. Films. This has been a day. Internet frustrated me. The boys frustrated me. And I don't like to film if I'm frustrated because I feel like it kind of kills the vibe in my videos. But I wanted to show you guys like this is our driveway. We've been parking in the garage. We don't do it very often because we have to manually lift up the door and put it down. So, but yeah. That's what it looks like in front of our house. Oh, it's so crazy. <sighs> but anyways, I got this box in from Influencer. So I thought we could open it while we wait for the car to warm up. Do I have a pin? Or something sharp? Clean. What are these? Oh, this is only for like one load. It's like a powder. Another OxyClean. This dark protects. Wish I would have checked this this morning before I did laundry. Ooh, I got a perfume sample. I still have my. Oh, uh, let me see. I forgot what this one is called. Mm. It's very grandma-y. Ugh, now my hands are gonna smell like it. And then last but not least, I got these Sun Down Organics Non-GMO Women's Multi Once a Day, 14 key nutrients with super, super energy support and rich dog. Huh. One tablet daily. I have not been taking my daily vitamins, so we can see. I have stopped taking them because I was taking the GNC ones. And them GNC ones hurt your flipping stomach. Whew, what time is it? Crap, I gotta go. Brian gets off at 2.30, it's 2.24, and I gotta drive slow. So let's get going, y'all.
Okay, y'all. So, I was able to film today. I filmed three videos. <sighs> right now, we are heading to get Brian some lunch. I'm going to try to eat while I'm driving. Also, feed the boys. Why did I turn on my signal light? <laughs> to start driving. <laughs> oh, and so... Yeah, it is actually still snowing today. It's currently snowing right now, but it's so weird because all the ice is melting, but it's snowing. It's really cute, actually. I said it once, I'll keep saying it again. I will never doubt Ethan's faith again that it can snow in October. Because this boy, every time I said, let's pray for rain, he <laughs> saying, I'm going to pray for snow. So I would pray for rain, he would pray for snow. Who's faith? was greater or who has more favor with God the little ones the babes the innocent so yeah Ethan prayed for his snow he got his snow I filmed three videos today I filmed this makeup look which is my everyday makeup look super poreless and cute Ooh. but and then I filmed my Jesus chats for next week and then my internet was out, or let me do it. And then I filmed my October favorites. I still got two more videos planned to film for whenever I'm done working and we get home. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Brian's going to go to the gym or not. Because it's still cold, but it's not icy like it was yesterday. Because, like I said, everything's melting even though it's still snowing. It's not ice anymore. Just snow. I don't know. It's so weird to me that everything's melting, but it's still cold enough to produce snow. It's only, let me see. Let me get my hands on it. It is currently only 34 degrees outside. Um, I am going to work today because I feel like I can make a lot of money. Brian, not sure what time Brian will be getting off. Yesterday he got off at 2.30. But I figured I could work today for at least a little bit. I really needed to film though. I didn't film yesterday because like I said, my whole mood was throwing off whenever like my internet, for one, the Wi-Fi that we have was not working. There was an outage literally all day up until like seven. And then even whenever it did come back, the internet was going like super slow, almost non-existent. And then the data on my phone didn't work right either yesterday. And so I was just like over it. And I was like, because <sighs> I was mad. I was restarting the computer because usually the computer won't connect right with the Wi-Fi and it won't let me upload my videos. And then iMovie was acting stupid. Internet was, everything was being ignorant. The boys were acting up and it was, I was like, I'm not gonna film because the vibe in my video will not be what I want it to be. And then I wouldn't have been able to study for the Jesus chat because I wouldn't have been in the right mindset. And it was rough. Today, the boys were still a little bit rough, but through patience, y'all, through patience, we shall persevere. So, yeah, got those videos filmed. Um, next week's Jesus Chat will be not um, the Watch Your Mouth. And then after that, it'll be, well, next week, which is really this week that you're watching this video. Vlogging is so weird. It's like time travel. Alright, y'all. But I'm about to get this food and head to go feed my boo. It's really, really snowing out here. I love when it snows because it's so bright. And, like, it makes... I don't know. I just love how bright it is. It makes... Like, whenever it snows and even though it's cloudy, like... That's probably the brightest my house is on the inside. Like, it makes the inside of my house so bright and, like light and fun and just anyways yeah snow in october so crazy i'll see you guys later after i'm done working hey guys so today has actually or yesterday whenever i was working it snowed all day we came home i edited today's video which is the 29th thursday the 29th and um Got it uploaded and everything last night. So that was good. I did that instead of taking a nap because I'm just, I don't want to take naps anymore. But today is nice and sunny and everything is melting. It was super windy last night though. I'm surprised it didn't continue to snow. Last night, 
but right now I am actually listening to my BSF audio lecture. If the sound would act right. Yeah, so I'm trying to get to work right, but I need to vacuum the house and take my supplements to work out. So while I listen, yeah, she's saying stuff that I'm supposed to be hearing, but anyways, I couldn't hear her. That, her audio is always crap sometimes at the beginning. So now I'm about to vacuum and get everything cleaned up. But yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Alright y'all, so I'm done cleaning up. I'm gonna getting the boys a very late breakfast. It's more like brunch because it's 11.30 already. And then I'm gonna work out and then I need to get myself ready. While I'm preparing their breakfast, I'm gonna have them get dressed. <sighs> been a morning, y'all. It has been a morning. But I'll see y'all later. Need to put my phone to charge because I really wanna film today. So that is what we are going to do. I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, so uh, I didn't lie. I'm seeing you guys later, way later. Um, so we had some things to deal with today as a family that we can't really discuss right now. So that took up majority of the afternoon after I finished working out and then got myself ready, got the boys ready. We all ate and then Brian came home so we could handle business. And then I was just laying on the bed and like I dozed off. I know I said I didn't want to take a nap because then I stay up late. And guess what? It's like 11 o'clock and I'm up, but I'm going to be productive. I'm going to catch up on my Bible reading plan, which is reading the Bible in a year. I've never read through the entire Bible um, from beginning to end. So I want to do that. So I'm going to catch up on that. And then I have some BSF work. Um that I'm going to catch up on which is actually ironic <laughs> because um that's actually going it's a it's a really deep um eight month study I don't know when it's over but it's a long time um we are currently on lesson let me see what lesson we're on lesson seven and we have a few more months left of it and it's going it's breaking down the entire book of genesis so not only am i doing the bible reading plan but i'm also in my bsf group going over the book of genesis and then i'm going to do another individual bible study outside of that for my youtube channel and then if you didn't know like i do also do my read and write the word every single month um it's a new plan every single month but it's for every single day of the month and so i will actually pop that up on the screen right now so you guys can go ahead and screenshot that if you are interested um you can always follow me on instagram to get it or request it or message me and ask me for the bible reading plan for the month of november since 
when you guys are watching this it's literally the first week of november it's not too late to catch up so or just to start where you're at so yeah go ahead and do that you guys um but yeah i'm just getting some reading done so this is the bsf bible study group so like i said um we're on lesson well lesson seven this are these are the notes for lesson six just to help break down what we previously read last week and then lesson seven we are going to be going over the rest of chapter nine and of genesis and also all the way through chapter 11 nine, chapter 11 verses one through nine of genesis so that is what i'm about to do i'm going to read the notes i listened to the lecture already today which was really really good and then like i said the app is on my phone i'll put another screenshot up of what the app is for reading the bible from beginning to end bible plan and then like i said this is my little bible study book and then i, I used to have these taped to my computer but now i have them taped to here just some reminders of what the word of god says so don't worry cast your cares pray always have faith and it's gonna be okay and then just a reminder to read worship and all of that which i have been actually remembering since i started going to my new church i have actually been reading my bible every single day since then so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this done and i'm gonna go to bed tomorrow's friday i'm gonna work a double tomorrow i didn't work well i say a double which is really just six hours for me I didn't work today at all, so I'm gonna work six hours tomorrow. So lunch rush, dinner rush, and then I'm gonna work the same on Saturday and Sunday, lunch rush, dinner rush. And I'm gonna keep doing that up until Thanksgiving, just so that way um, we can have funds to go to Georgia for the holidays. So yeah. Um, and also, me and Raquel have a video coming, and I gotta shop for that this weekend. So. Yeah, lots of working, very, very busy. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get some reading done and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night.
believe in the gym. We did um, 20 minutes, of, well, about. 20 minutes of cardio. 20 minutes of cardio, yeah. Hi. But I wanted to show you. Say it. Hi. We're going to get his car seat right now. Um, you guys, um, all that snow that we got actually put water back in there. Now I just want it to rain. I really want it to just pour for like a week straight. I would love that. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I'm going to tell Ethan that because if that boy prays, he sure gets what he wants. So, yeah. So, hey, you going to tell him to pray, you going to pray for snow again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> say, hey, boo. Hey, boo. No, you say, hey, I'm calling you boo. You ain't got no boo on the other side of this camera. What about you? I mean, on YouTube, I'm your hey, boo. <laughs> yeah. That's the strongest old white man on the He's not, he's not. That little man got strength. <laughs> got that old man strength. I think you can, oops. I think you can sometimes see him in the back of my videos when I'm working out. But yeah. Hi. Yeah, because he used to look at me perverted. Hi. He used to give me them pervert eyes. You just want to see me put the so on somebody, don't you? I thought you were going to say something to that guy last night. <laughs> we went to eat dinner, y'all. <laughs> and we never go out to, like, we, I'm not going to say never, but as a family, like, we rarely, family, we know. rarely go out to eat. And the one time we do, our waitress, our waitress, our waiter is a black guy and he's like, you know, like a thuggish black guy and the entire time like the entire time he's serving us he does not really try to speak to Brian about anything like he keeps asking me and like uh like he even tried to hand the check to me and everything he tried to take the payment from me and I was like no. like I kept directing him back to Brian and but then like he kept calling me love and I'm sitting there thinking like if this man don't stop calling me love like, I was really surprised Brian didn't like. Maybe I'm a little more bold than Brian. Because had a woman been doing that. And I have done... Nah. I have directed the attention to me like, what? But, yeah. More maturity over here. I just claim what's mine. I claim mine, too. It's not like he made a pass on you. That would have been different. True. That's true. Plus, y'all here in Texas have this weird hospitality. I'm not used to people calling each other love and sweetie and honey. Y'all got a whole different vibe out here. Hospitality. It's not just even vibe. It's really like a hospitality. From the young to the old, everyone calls each other honey, sweetie, love. Oh, I got that for you, sweetie. Now, she, if somebody said boo. Who's fighting words? Older, yeah. older ladies say out here say babe a lot. Like I got you, babe. Mm -hmm. But that's understandable when yeah. you're older. Yeah, that's why. That's why I said older ladies. And you 50 plus, okay. You young, telling another young person, babe, and boo. Get punched at this cash you register you if you want to. <laughs> I do not play about mine. <laughs> Look, Bryson, y'all, the. Uh, so, Sydney Cummings posted on her story yesterday, and she was going over all the health benefits of aminos and BCAAs, and she was, she was sponsored by Ghost, but... And I told Ali about it in the Yeah, he before. has, but, like, I can never be consistent with it, but once she, like, broke it down the way that she broke it down, I was just like, okay, I gotta have it. But anyways, I got the Ghost um, aminos, the blueberry, the blue raspberry flavor, and y'all, it is bomb. Y'all see this little boy back here going crazy for some but yeah we're about to go eat dinner and then i'm gonna drop brian off for bible study and then i'm gonna start working again i only made 20 dollars earlier but uber had already told me that lunch wasn't gonna be jumping but 20 is 20 dollars more than it's 20 dollars more than what i had so yeah see y'all later